Welcome back to an overcast day here at Most Port. The 22 tow truck in a box Dodge Avenger of Scott Steckley leads round number eight of the 2008 NASCAR Canadian Tire Series presented by Sirius Satellite Radio here on TSN. Well, we've run almost 60 laps. Not bad for a green racetrack and only one caution. These guys are putting on a whale of a show. But now it's all about communication. What's the race car doing? What's it going to do in the next 40 laps? And they got to start talking to the crew chief so they can make the adjustments on the pit stop. Really, what is a guy like Scott Steckley going to tell his crew chief what he wants in that race car? He's out by almost three seconds over the nine to Mark Dilly. What more does he need? Well, let me see. Stereo, air conditioning. <laughs> uh, the car is so good. He's just on cruise control. My God, it's, it's just so nice to see a race car work that well. But the rest of the field not really enjoying the show. And you see the 0-2 of Kerry Mix going by the 7 of Alex Tagliani. Apparently Tag not happy with the way that car's been handling all through practice. Now Tag has gone two laps down, so he's really fighting a ill-handling race car. Now we're on board with Derek Lynch. See his hands a little bit loose up off the corner. He had to turn the wheel back to the right as Gibbons went by. Six spot for Peter Gibbons. Now is the Allied Steel Buildings number 77 of Derek Lynch. Drops down into seventh spot, but Lynch not going away. Hey, look, there's the Dickies dodge of Dave Whitlock in there, too. Well, we've been watching these Whitlock Motorsports cars all year, and they've been having terrible, terrible luck. Now, Dilly's running up front. Whitlock's in the top ten. Things are pretty good at Mossport for the Whitlock camp. Absolutely. There is Ron Beauchamp, Jr. Huge gaggle of cars, and there is your leader working through heavy, heavy lap traffic. Scott Steckley now up to the back bumper, the full throttle, number 19 of Brad Graham, but running second is Mark Dilley, and standing by with his crew chief is Todd. Reno, Mark's had a real charge today. How's he feeling in the car? He feels great. That number nine Dodge is uh, pretty stout right now. He's just buying his time and taking it easy, saving it for the end here. Well, that's a pretty good guy to have on your pit box. Reno has won two track championships himself here at this racetrack, and I believe Mark Dilley's won here as well. Yeah, absolutely. He's no slouch. He hasn't won since Riverside of last year in the Canadian Tire Series, but so he's definitely due. Well, there's a good look at his hands. Look how steady his hands are on the steering wheel, Dave. He turned it all the way in left, never had to turn it back until he was coming off the corner. That's a good handle on a race car. How much can a driver tell the way the car is handling by the sound of the throttle as well? Well, it's not about the sound. It's how much throttle you can give it. <laughs> the more throttle you can give it off the corner, you know it's working good then. The 77 of Derek Lynch goes around in the one of... Peter Gibbons slides up the racetrack and he heads back to ninth spot. So trouble for the Canadian Tire number one Chevy of Peter Gibbons. And up front, Scott Steckley just keeps setting them down and putting more cars a lap down. That was the 12 of John Gaunt just going down a lap. And Gaunt is in 13th spot, so not having that bad of a day, but that's how good of a day Scott Steckley is having. As you see, Mark Dilley still chasing the tow truck in a box, number 22. Now, though, within striking distance. Well, Scott Steckley, a really patient driver. We've talked about it before. Took his time going through the lap cars. That allowed Mark to catch up, and Mark's doing a great job getting through traffic, and Simone did a good job by pulling down and getting out of the way. Anthony Simone in the Crown Modular number 95 as the Interstate Batteries number 18 Pontiac of Kent Noon comes along Pitt Road, and they've been fighting that car all weekend long, too, as Whitlock slides in one and two, and here comes Jason Hathaway in the snap-on dodge. Well, Dave Whitlock got into turn one just a little hot, and he, the, the brake balance wasn't... Just, oh, and he gets moved back up the racetrack by the three. Seven spot now for the three of Jason Hathaway as Whitlock will slot back one, but great racing all around the track here with 108 laps to go. Here the full throttle energy drink, 200th, that man, the 20 Scott Steckley is your leader, and look who he's coming up to lap. The number four of Don Thompson Jr. Don Thompson Jr. being very respectful, pulls down to the bottom and allows the faster leader to the top side. Very respectful. Don Thompson, a true champion, given the 22 car lots of room. And he is in 11 spots. So again, another driver just kind of hanging on till the first pit stop and hopefully going to make some adjustments on that race car as we ride on board with Don Thompson Jr. Well, you can tell it's not the motor. There's lots of RPM down the straightaway. That car is just not handling the way Donnie likes it. Did you see the way Steckley was able to get the power to the ground and open up a gap on the four car? It was almost an instant two car lanes. Just an awesome performance. And the 84 and 25, the 17 of DJ Kennington in there. The 84, of course, J.R. Fitzpatrick, Jim Lapsovich. And the 17 of DJ Kennington in fifth spot. 84 and 25, both a lap 
down. Boy, when's the last time you've seen Peter Gibbons go down a, a lap under green? And there's Ron Beauchamp Jr., a strong runner as well. He's about to go a lap down. And Ron Beauchamp Jr. in the Mopar Dodge has just gotten around the number one of Peter Gibbons, but one driver has been struggling all day long is the seven of Alex Tangliani. He's pulled that car along pit lane and taunts in his pit. Alex Tagliani along pit road, but he'll be moving that car behind the wall. Alex Nagy, the crew chief, says they have a problem in the rear suspension. Damage pretty serious. It'll take some time to make repairs if they can get it done. Well, we thought Tagliani would have a real good race here coming off his real fine Edmonton win, but the struggles continue as they try and get that second team up to speed. As we hit the halfway mark here in the full throttle Energy Drink 200, we've had one leader, and it's been that man, the 22 of Scott Stackley for all 100 laps. Slowed by one caution for a total of five laps here so far. And the fastest lap, wow, the 22 of Scott Stackley put that in on lap number four. Well, for sure, there's Tagliani bringing his car back to the pit road, as we said. But the real thing now is we've reached halfway. The weather can come now, and they can call this race complete. Now the crew chiefs have to really start considering when they're going to bring their driver to pit road and what adjustments they're going to hang on the race car to make it better. Or do they have to? If it's green the entire way, can they go the entire distance on fuel? Well, the horsepower we're making, it's really a, a crapshoot. The Chevrolets, they say, can go the distance green. The Dodges and the Ford, well, they're a little more hungry. Well, speaking of drivers that may need a pit stop, that car there, the Castrol Sintec Dodge Avenger of DJ Kennington, he's starting to slide back just a touch. You saw the 39 of Dave Whitlock able to get around. DJ currently sitting in the eighth spot. Here's a good look at the 77 of Derek Lynch marching forward, and Doug Brown goes around in the Haldex number 10 for the second time here in Millsport. And the caution flag flies. Well, Brownie got around in the 56 of Joey McComb, got into the right rear, tore the fender off the yellow number 56. And there he is, flagman Sean Gibbs waving the yellow flag for just the second time here today. We'll take another look at what happened. Well, we got the 10 going down in the corner trying to get on the outside of the... Oh, and McComb locks up the left front and gets into Dougie Brown. Well, this gives the team a chance to go to the pits, and it's a busy one. Three, two, one. There you are. Now it's time for the teams to do their work. Our points leader and race leader, Scott Steckley, the tow truck in a box, dodge along pit road, two right side tires, fuel and a pan art bar adjustment. Directly behind him, the home hardware Chevy of Don Thompson Jr. with a tight car, the 27 of Andrew Ranger that has gained positions as well. DJ Kennington also finding his pit slot. Scott Steckley will continue to be the leader. You're good, you're good. Clear, clear, clear. Good. Well, listen to the communication, not only on the racetrack do they keep talking to each other, but even on pit road. It keeps everybody safe and happy so they can talk about what the race cars are doing. We'll be back with more from Mossport after this.